What's good friends? Yesterday I headed downtown to the Living Room Theaters for the Heartland International Film Festival. I was invited to view the film, The Body Politic. This feature documentary follows Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott as he fights to eradicate gun violence in his city. Baltimore, just like my beloved city of Indianapolis, has been plagued by gun violence for many years. The film was incredible. Afterwards, we heard an inspiring conversation with some of the film's creators, as well as some local peacekeepers from right here in Indianapolis. After everything wrapped up, I headed out to have a conversation with the film's creators and one of its stars. Here's our conversation. Um, so what led me to get to that space was my brother, uh, we called him Corny, he was killed in 2007. And I watched my mother do everything she could to avoid that block, drive all around it. And it occurred to me one day that she must could still feel the energy of her child being killed there. And that we're not wrestling with fresh flesh and blood, that it's vibrational work, it's energy work. And so just like somebody showed up to put the fear and hatred and devastation in the space, humans can show up and cleanse that space and replace it with love and light and peace. But also, I was raised to understand that we exist before we take a body and, after, and we continue to exist after we lay our bodies down. And so as eternal beings... Um, it is important to me that we show up in those spaces so that the energy of murder, which is temporary, does not have the last say. That the energy of love and light and that that person, their spirit is still a real thing in the universe. Those eternal vibrations need to be in the spaces. Um, and so claiming it as sacred ground became important to me. Um, after the ceasefire started in 2017, which is now the Baltimore Peace Movement, um, I kept saying the places where people get killed need to be sacred ground, you know. And then I got, I realized you can't keep saying it, you should probably do it, you know. So I just, I started doing it. Um, and it has nurtured me and fed me. Um, my parents called me here intentionally as teenagers so i was called into the world because teenagers had a conversation let's get pregnant and have a boy who's going to change the world and i answered that call and they raised me to be free and to speak for myself and to respect other people's humanity and like all of the things that it would take for me to be who I came here to be and who they called me forth to be. So I can't live my life not understanding that I am spirit first and foremost and that my body is a vessel for that spirit's work. And because I was born with one hand in a world that thinks that I'm broken I've had to always understand where my wholeness is so that I could love all the parts of me that even look broken, right? So, so much of my life has to be grounded in spirit that it guides my life and especially my work. For me, as someone who lives in Baltimore, um, who, who was born and raised there, like Baltimore is the place that I love, right? I work in the film industry, but it's always been important to me to be loyal to this city that I was born in, that my mom was born in, that my grandmother was born in. Um, I think your duty as a human is to try to make where you arrived in the world a better place, right? And for me, that's Baltimore. Um, and unfortunately, I think we in this country are in love with violence. We're in love with violence and entertainment. And it was really, 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 really difficult for me. And I've thought about it for the entire four years I've done this project is how do you talk about violence and deal with violence and also at the same time not make it something that is feeding on violence and taking advantage of violence right so I think an important thing for us in the film was not to show any acts of violence I mean the closest we get to showing an act of violence in the film is the audio of the murder of George Floyd um, the film is really about how how doing the work affects those that are trying to do the work and the need to keep going, the need to not give up, right? Because I think in this country, we often are in love with the whole idea of the scratch off lottery ticket or 
the diet pill or everything. I mean, everything about this country often is about brainwashing us into believing that there is this quick fix for everything, and there's not. Violence in the United States is a 400-year-old problem. It's as old as the country itself, and we are having to unprogram ourselves as a nation to get healthy, right? So um, for me, it was really important to A, not fixate on the act of violence and really try to understand what are the root causes of violence and what exists to help us heal right and I think we we do a good job showing that in the film but also for me it was important to weave into there the fabric of Baltimore I mean Baltimore is a city of people that care so much about you right there is so much love in the city and I think that's a common thing and in, in, in tragedy people really really often support each other and we for both of eric and my life which were even though um she looks so much younger than me <laughs> we are the same age um and for our entire life it's been this tragedy of violence you know and although i'm uh, a white man in the city and erica is a black woman we are both um not neither of us are immune right there's no walls in the city i think the everyone is affected by this and i cannot personally as a human being sleep in my little row house knowing that people in the city that i live in and that i love in are, are are being hurt and are in pain and don't feel safe and and so it's just for me it was just important to to understand it so i think it's a, i think it's beautiful especially because you can be from baltimore and go anywhere around the world literally and say you're from baltimore and people say oh my god they're the wire and they're so dangerous and and if you're gonna go live in baltimore people say why would you go there you're gonna get shot and it's not like you walk down the street and just get shot in Baltimore every day. Like, that's not how that happens. And I say all the time, you will, if you walk through streets of Baltimore, you will find more people trying not to punch somebody in the face than you will run into people who can't wait to shoot somebody, right? So you, you hear people all day going, stop playing with me, yo. Get out of my face. I'm not going to, you know, like people are trying. And there's a lot of peace in Baltimore. There's a lot of love in Baltimore. When people celebrate me, I remind them what you're looking at is West Baltimore. That's what made me. That's what gave me my values. That's what helped me understand community and love and light. It nurtured my light and power and, and gave me the freedom to be authentic. We say to children, be yourself. And then culture is spend your life beating who you are out of you and telling you you're too much of something or too little of something and Baltimore is that right I was born with one hand so people look at me and assume that I'm broken people talk shit about Baltimore all the time assuming our brokenness never understanding there's no love like Baltimore love and our joy matters and our love matters and it's more of that happening every day than there are people shooting each other every day right and so to see it and for this film to give it a platform literally around the world this film debuted in london it's been to zanzibar is now in different places around the country in america it is important for people to watch their mouth when they talk about our city but also cities like ours you know, it's not just Baltimore. It is because you can the 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 systems of oppression can wash their hands clean of their responsibility in how cities like Baltimore have so much violence by just blaming the people doing the violence. You know, like you can pretend that all of the the violence that happens every day systemically doesn't matter when that is the cause of what we're seeing happening and rain down physically and so to stand up against that with joy and to say imagine who we must be because in real life we should be wiped off the face of the earth by now if you think about chattel slavery and everything that's happened since there's no way that we should still be standing in our joy ever <laughs> right and so who must we be that we are still aware of our joy and our peace and our ability to stand in our own power even in the midst of tragedy who must we be that's an important message for people all over this country to see who will see themselves and our faces on that screen so the challenges for our film is is getting it out to people in the world and um 
you know, people have compared it to The Wire and, and, and many other things. But the big thing we've gotten is that, oh, you're just making a film about Baltimore. It's too locally focused. But it's not about Baltimore. It's about St. Louis. It's about Detroit. It's about Newark. It's about Chicago. It's about Karachi, Pakistan. It's about Manila in the Philippines. It's about all of these places where working people live, uh, majority work working people of color live that are faced with what poor people have always been faced with struggling for resources right and i i hope really that people understand that it's not a baltimore film baltimore is just the where this story takes place but we could replace baltimore with indianapolis or anywhere else and it's really just about um, why violence happens in the United States so consistently and also what are the pathways out of that right and there are pathways I mean we for in this country have been studying a public health approach to gun violence for over four decades right and it's been shown to work but the thing that's been shown to keep it from working is the dysfunction of the political system itself right the schizophrenic back and forth nature of how politics works in this country which is an insatiable desire for immediate change even though that's totally unrealistic right because violence in the united states is a 400 year old problem and there's no way that anyone be it brandon or republican mayor or anyone can change a city fundamentally in four years these are 400 year old problems in this country we are in love with violence right and how do we un um attach ourselves from this need this love this fixation for violence which is really what the film's about